evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Paul Brown Show, and I have my special guest, Mr. Daryl Goodman. He'll be talking about that West African fashion show. How you doing there, Mr. Goodman? Man, Mr. Brown, if I was doing any good, I'd be in South Carolina, boy. Oh, and I tell you what, it ain't going to be long. I'll be back there pretty soon. Yes, hey, sir. No How man. you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So you got the. How Mr. Fashion... Harvey doing? Second. How, how, Mr. how Mr. Harvey doing, Chief Engineer? Oh, okay. We got Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ray Harvey. He's the director. He's the director. Yes, sir. Yes, he's, sir. He's the director. I forgot about that. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, yes, sir. Okay, let's talk about that African fashion show you got going on. Okay. Okay. What you want to talk about? Tell me. I'll follow your lead. Okay, tell the audience a little bit about that fashion show. What what is, you know, what made you want to have this fashion show? Well, you know, I kind of snuck out of the country last September, the end of September and first part of October and went over to Ghana, West Africa. And uh, while I was over there, I found out this thing called kente cloth because I had heard so much about that years and I wanted to see what the real deal was like Mr. Holyfield. Okay. And so I got over there and got me a driver, and he took me to the, one of the markets, and uh, that's when I saw the real deal kente cloth, not that made in China, made in India, but the actual kente cloth that was made, that is made, woven inside of Ghana. Now, understand, Mr. Brown, there are two types of cloth there is the kente cloth and then there is the material now the material is the light and not really right and tight deal because the cloth is woven on these hand looms by men so there i saw the process went to one of the places where they do it so i decided to buy some bring some back and then, of course, since October of last year, I have actually been having it shipped into the country from um, Ghana. So I decided that the way I could get it out for people to see, other than, you know, Facebook and Instagram, would be to have a fashion show. So I uh, contacted a lady who had a fashion show here in uh, Jacksonville. And uh, she gave me some names and some numbers of some people to contact. I contacted them and I said, hey, do you want to work with me and do a fashion show? They said, yeah, we'll do that. So I set a date, the end of January, the last Sunday, because I wanted to be done before Black History Month, which is, you know, a favorite time. And I feel like if some people see some of my items, they might want to purchase some for their um, Black history attire. So that was the uh, reason why I decided to do the fashion show, Mr. Brown. Okay, the date. What's the date of your fashion show? Okay, it's this coming Sunday. It's the last Sunday in the month of January. Now, the thing about that is that, you know, certain people you know, I, I'm not talking about your people now, you know, because I know oh. your people do go to church on the fifth Sunday. But there are those people who don't, you know, they oh, they yes, use yes. that as a day of rest. Mm -hmm. So I, I said it for the 29th, which happens to be the fifth Sunday in January. And so it's the last Sunday before we get into the Black History Month of February. So it's January 29th. It starts at 1 p.m. We're going to open up with a barber college, beauty college, doing a demonstration. I, I approached the uh, be, uh, beauty college, asked them to put on a demonstration. They agreed to do it. Because now you remember when I used to do the fashion shows up in Charleston, we used to have barber competitions, okay. cosmetology competitions, nail competitions. Well, I'm starting off slow, but you know what? I might be forced to revise some of those as well. So we'll see how that comes off. Then about 1.30, we kick off the fashion show. And then after about three designers are gone, 
done their thing. We're going to turn around and, and do another demonstration for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're going to do the rest of the show, and hopefully we're going to be done somewhere between 3.30 and 4 o'clock. And then we're going to let the people go and do what they got to do or want to do or need to do. So this Sunday, 1 p.m., downtown Jacksonville, Florida, at a venue called The Lark, L-A-R-K, is the name of the venue. Um, we're going to be doing it there. What should we expect at the fashion show? I know it's going to be a lot of excitement. What all should well, we expect? You know, I tell you, Mr. Brown, we we trying to do what we do, and the best way to do that is to go ahead on and do the darn thing. So we got six other individuals besides myself. I'm number seven, and we've got a fashion designer that cuts and sews her own fashion. You'll see Miss Ramona doing that. We've got Mr. Carl. Mr. Carl, he is like myself traveled to west africa but he's mainly going to togo he's going into nigeria and a couple of other countries so he's going to be showing his menswear mine's going to be predominantly women but i do have some stuff for the guys as well then we have a jewelry lady we have a lady that makes sunglasses then we have another lady that has a women's clothing store. She's going to be there. And then we've got the other lady from the Soul Seed. She has clothes that she also imports as well. And um, it's just going to be a hodgepodge of different types of clothing, not all necessarily from West Africa or Africa, but it's going to be a nice mixture between Africa and North America. So that's what you're going to come to see, and that's what you can expect to be there. Now, I know with some of our viewers, they think you're new to the fashion show game, but you got a lot of experience with this, I heard. Well, you know, I started with some good people back in 2006, a company called Low Country Exposure. And our sole purpose at that time was just to combine photography and videography for models who wanted to put a, a portfolio reel together to get work. And then we decided, let's do a training session, you know. So I rented a hotel off of Montague, and we got a photographer, myself. We got a videographer, Mr. Um, Kaminsky, and then we got a makeup artists in fact we had two makeup artists I, I i'm i have to apologize for the one of the names but then Ms. Deidre brown was the other makeup artist then we had Ms. shirley daly and Ms. dana collington they did the model training we had mr leroy the phd the mastermind of the hair cosmetology so we put all these people together and then of course excuse me there was um, Mr. Ray Harvey, our chief engineer, who was there conducting. And that was the first time we had gotten together. And then I'm down at um, MacDill Air Force Base. And as we're planning to do the second seminar, I get a call from Ms. Shirley Daly and Ms. Dana Carter and said, uh, Mr. Darrow, can we do a fashion show? And I go, fashion show? Man, I don't know nothing about no fashion show. They said, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. So that's how I got into doing the fashion show. And as we got into the second and third year, we also not only added the fashion show, we got into the competition. We got into the CEU classes. So we had a full day, man. We, you know, we would start, me and Ray, we would start off at about 7 o'clock in the morning at the doggone either the North Charleston Convention Center and on the Trident Tech um, Convention uh, uh, area that they have, ballroom that they have. So yeah, I, I did it for about 10 years. And in 2017, I stopped, uh, stopped doing it and said I wasn't going to do it anymore. But as you can see, never say never. 
Because now I'm down here in Jacksonville, and what am I doing? Another dog going fashion show. So we'll see how that turns out. Well, it's going to be just like the ones you had in the past. I know it's going to be real good. Great, great. Now, as far as vendors, will there be any possible for vendors? or? Yeah, about yeah. You? It, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we do. Um, it's going to be a smaller space than, you know, the North Charleston Convention Center. So right now I'm booking for four. I've got two people committed and I've got one person saying they might come. So we'll have to answer your question directly. Yeah, we got some spots for some vendors. If they want and they're to real get cheap there, too. If they wanted to get a spot, how would they go about doing that? You know, they can just go ahead on and ring me up on my doggone cellular phone. You know, 843-437-4024. And I'll be glad to talk to them about them real cheap vendor tables. But like I said, I only got two more because I only decided to do four because of the limited spaces. Mm. Now let's talk about the tickets. What are the prices of the ticket the advance and the advance the is, is the advance is 35 dollars, and then of course once you get to the door i got to charge you 45 just because you made me wait mm. and i heard you got a vip section as well. oh yeah yeah the, the vip is running about 40 advance and then of course once you get to the door i got to charge you more because once again you made me wait so once you get to the store, the door, I'm going to charge you about 55 for you to have some uh, drink and uh, some food. And then I got a gift for you as well and a gift bag. I mean, it ain't a real big, big gift bag, but it's a somewhat small, but it is still a gift bag with the name of the business, which is for African import is the name of the business. So, yep. So for more information about your African fashion show, West African fashion show, how would individuals be able to contact you? Because it's going to be a real exciting well, event. They, they, can, they can go to Eventbrite. We are on Eventbrite with West African Fashion Show Jacksonville on the 29th at 1 p.m. So if they want a little bit more information or if they want to purchase a ticket they can do that or if they want to come to the door in downtown jacksonville uh the address 229 north hogan that's h-o-a-g-a-n hogan i believe um you have a copy of the uh of the flyer but i'm yes, going to uh put out and uh, let the good people see it. This is uh, the West African flyer. And as I said, we are gonna be doing fashions for Black History Month. And you're gonna be able to find us at 229 North H-O, I'm sorry, H-O-G-A-N Street in Jacksonville, Florida. That's 229 North Hogan Street, Jacksonville, Florida. And we'll be upstairs on the third floor doing it till it's time for us to stop doing it. And then we're going to let you see some fashions from West and Central Africa as well as North America. So, uh, yeah. Now, Mr. That's Goodman, you that gave that, that number. I hear the phone ringing. They're calling already for them tickets. Cause well, I sure hope they continue to do so because I want them to see what we got because I'm sure after they see what we got, they're going to be thoroughly, thoroughly ready to go in their pocket and pull out some folding or some plastic, hey. one of the two. Thank you for coming on the show, Mr. Goodman, and we look forward to hearing more about your West African fashion show on the 29th. Well, thank you, Mr. Brown. And Mr. Ray, appreciate you guys having me on. And um, I hope I hadn't embarrassed the family. 
Oh no, you have it. You know, you are the you the man. You the man, Mister Goodman. <laughs> All right, let's get on out there. Let's get on out there to right. that fashion show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir.